and welcome back to another video. My name is Underrated Najabi and in today's video, I am going to be eating at corner shops for the day. I've previously done this video when I was in Cardiff, but now I am in London. The corner shops in the UK are convenience stores, which sell, which are like mini supermarkets, 7-Elevens. They sell everything that you need that are like priorities. Really and truly, they sell like milk, they sell like bread, they sell like drinks, they sell like sandwiches, they sell like chocolates, they sell like crisps. They sell 2,000 years later. However, we are going to be going there and having our breakfast. We're going to be having our lunch. We're going to be having our dinner from Corner Shops. If you guys haven't already watched my Cardiff one, please click here and make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Guys, I really, really, really need you guys to give this video a thumbs up because it allows me to know that you enjoyed this video and also tells me that I should do more videos like this. So give it a thumbs up, guys. This is the Corner Shop that we'll be going to. It's a food and wine. Oh, this one has like a selection of drinks. Do you sell sandwiches? No, darling. Oh, we sell all of these sweets. Guys, this shop sells so many sweets. This shop is a good shop. Recording is not allowed in this shop. Oh, okay. Let's get ourselves a frappuccino and a croissant. But I think this one has alcohol. Yeah, we're going to get this for breakfast today. 358, please. Thank you. Thank you. 142 change. Guys, the guy was a bit moody. Uh, I think it was too early in the morning for him. But um, I feel like there's nothing wrong with recording, just as long as like I'm not recording the, the people. I think he was just a bit aggy. Um, he wanted a bit of love today. I got myself this and I got myself this for breakfast. We didn't really have a selection of breakfasts and I didn't want to go to the back because the back looked like no one goes there if I'm honest with you. But that corner shop is a good corner shop for like sweets and like, you know, like up-to-date snacks and like primes and stuff like that. Oh, it's this flavor. Is this caramel? This is creamy coffee, bismillah. It's very sweet though. Mm -mm. Tastes good, tastes good. I like these, I just wish they were bigger. So most of them have what's known as ethyl alcohol. This one doesn't have any ethyl alcohol. I believe that this one is just like the normal one or is my eyes deceiving me? Anyway, I've got this hazelnut. It cost me £1.29. This is a little snack. I might go for another shop because I don't feel like it's giving what it's supposed to give. This is the size of Ipswell. Mm. These are nice. Um, they are very acquired taste. I think when I first tried these, I didn't like it. But over time, I think the more I had it, the more I'd start to like it. This is like my um, pre-breakfast to the breakfast. I'm still hungry and I'm going to go and get myself some real breakfast. So let's go to a different corner shop. We are at a different corner shop. That's on the strip. Right. I'm going to get a cereal. Get these ones and then just mix it up. $2.99. They also sell eggs, wafers, sweets, cheeses. I'm gonna get one milk. We have got ourselves some breakfast. I got these like different flavors of cocoa pops, rice krispies, rice krispies. Um, I got myself some milk and I got myself some water, but now I regret it and I wish I got myself coffee. But then again, like you know, people say you have to drink water. Personally, me, I sometimes drink water and I feel like it doesn't really hydrate me. Before now. And I know a lot of people say, oh, you're supposed to sip it in little bits. I, j I don't see it hydrating me. Like, I get more, hydra hi I get more hydration drinking a Lucozade. Not gonna lie, the milk. The milk is a bit off, though. Why does it taste like a bit off? Can you get ill with off milk? From a young age, I used to mix up cocoa pops with cornflakes. Camera decided to fall as soon as I turned my head. So we have a combination of Rice Krispies and some cocoa pops. Put the milk inside. Spin there. Mmm. Crunchy. I'm gonna be getting us all some lunch. I am really excited for lunch because I feel like I'm gonna to have to cook something because sandwiches. We're going into 7-Eleven. 
We are in this shop. What's this waggy piggy? Anyways, we need to find something to eat. I could have frozen. There's like a, a selection of frozen foods, like cheese bites, dinners, that's not halal. They have some parathas. <clears throat> Vegan. Um, chicken pea, spicy. Oh, that looks nice. Vegan. When does it expire though? Punj it's a Punjabi challa. Okay, so, oh, wait one second. There's another one here. It's called the Pilau Buraji. I'm not gonna lie, this one. Is and then there's another one called the Kebab Shima. This is uh, vegan too. Veggie. There's also some dal crookies. Mutton, uh, mutter crookie, uh, aloe tikka, patata habibi. Um, and then if you move this down, I can get some frozen dal. Wow, tandoori dal. Is this vegan? Authentic bread clay. Is there tandoorians? Oh, vegan? But my lunch. How can I have my lunch just like that, just waiting for me? They also do sell parathas and they sell minty parathas. They sell all types of parathas. Oh, thank God I got that. Should I get some of those veggie ones too? What is it? I want to get these. They also have some ice creams. Can even like bake. I could even bake. What drink should I get? How much is that? So 10 I got my lunch. And now it's just time to like make it really. This is the Punjabi Chola. Chole. Put the microwave for three to four minutes and then you carefully remove the line and then you put it back in for two to three minutes. Heating times were very depending on the wattage. What's wattage? Mmm. Here's the veggie shami kebab. So what I do is I pan fry it, deep fry it or oven bake it. I think I'm gonna pan fry it. This is how the kebabs look. That looks all right though. Here's my tandoori naan. Authentic naan bread baked in the clay oven. Remove the naan, preheat the bag. Turn it over and repeat the process. Preheat the oven. Okay, let's do this. Oh la la, oh la. Okay, we're gonna make these two. And put this back in the freezer. Why is that one so small though? Like, what is that? That's not a tandoori naan, that's a mini naan. Let this defrost for a bit. And then we're just gonna add it on here. We're now gonna oil up for the kebab, so fry it. Gonna let it cook. Ooh, that's so really nice. Gonna put this in the microwave. <gasps> oh, next one. We're taking this out. Just open it up. We're taking off the cling film. Give it a good mix and then we'll put it back in there for three to four minutes. Okay, we have our kebabs, we have our chole, um, and we have our naan bread. You know, surprisingly, this naan bread is actually really soft. It's so soft, guys. The naan is naaning. Okay, um, let's give our kebabs a go. Bismillah. Did you just see how I bit that and it just came out so soft. Mm -mm, what's that? There are some bits inside, but it tastes like a falafel. And it looks like a falafel, isn't it? Mm. Oh my God. I bit into a clove. Mm, this is good. Spicy. Soft. Mm -mm. Very flavoursome too, you know. It tastes like a soft falafel. With a bit more spices. Let's give our naan a go. <clears throat> this naan, look at the way that it just breaks off. I didn't even know frozen naan exists. Okay, we're gonna give our chole a go. I'm not gonna lie guys, when I put this back inside the microwave and I took off the seal, my whole microwave is finished. It like, it like exploded in there. Well, I don't know, like why, why is it the fact that I had to take it off? I didn't get it. This is gonna make me, I feel like gassy the whole day. I had to let it cool down, Bismillah. Mmm! It's very, very nice! It's actually nice, I'm not even joking with you guys. It is a little bit watered down, so it's not really like a creamy texture, but the, the chickpeas are not hard. They're actually kind of soft. Mmm! It is nice, it is nice. I burnt the naan a little bit, but I feel like the naan 
around the edges like the thicker parts are soft whereas like the inside is a bit dry and i'm not too sure if i should have added a little bit of water to it i'm not sure oh that's spicy you know grab a bit of the kebab mash it because the mash is really soft and a little bit of this this is called a a veggie kebab roll <laughs> The way it tastes, man. Wow. I really like the kebab. I love the softness. And I really like the curry. It's so hot. I'm so happy that I got this Rio. So I am parked on day lamp. <laughs> I want to go and get myself something to eat but the thing is it's getting late and I'm really 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 hungry thinking of going to like two corner shops and just like stacking up on things so that it saves me the time and energy from going back out again because really and truly it's late bro man don't want to be rolling around like a fox every single day all I see is foxes hibernating foxes running around foxes you fox it ain't no biscuit, it's chocolate. Rawr, rawr. Foxes lurking road. Let's make a little track. Their man on the block, they're foxes coming out all night. They're foxes sleeping through the day. Foxes, anybody got time for these foxes? Hey, um, don't ever marry a fox, guys. Don't marry a fox because they'll have you doing. Circuity sucks, you know what I mean? Okay. Marry a guy that works during the day and sleeps during the night because at the end of the day You should even be doing night shifts because it's not even good for you Night shifts have been proven to create a number of health problems I'm in an area, right? Where there's one, two, three, four corner shops Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you There's an off license there, okay Turn around, there's one there okay and then there's a londis there and at that corner down there is a food and wine we're going here wow guys there's a massive selection of crisps you're coming with me oh and you're coming with me how much is this one one pound 35 okay okay they sell milks breads and tortillas like mini little wraps and that Cereal, milk, lotus biscoff. I want to see if there's any frozen food. Bro, is that it? Let me quickly grab a drink. So I want to try this lychee one. It goes with my outfit. Do you know what I mean? I've never tried this before. Is it halal though? Can I have a card, please? I'm gonna quickly go to um, that shop, Mercy. No, no. Ew, pork, pork, pork. Let's check down here. Do they have fish and chips? Oh my god, they have chicken and lamb samosas. Battered tempura, battered fish. Mm -mm. Lightly tempered. Does that mean it has like any alcohol in it? There's no price on this. So I might get that with a bit of potato waffles. And there's some fish fingers, but I don't want that. There's some mozzarella lamb burgers. These are big though. What should I get? Normal fries. Should I get normal fries or these simples? get normal fries i would buy this but nobody in my family would eat it so it would just be sat in the freezer look at this ice cream selection rotted rotted look at all of these ice creams mm -mm. I've, I've got enough sweets so i don't want anything i'm gonna see if there's burger buns i really want to get this i just want to does it contain alcohol oh yeah it contains ether alcohol 
I wish it didn't because I really wanted to try it. Just some mustard too, mayo. My grandma's got some mayo to be fair. Smooth mayo. Hi, do you sell burger buns? Those are about speed on No. Expired. It's expired? Yeah. Oh, okay, then I'll just get these. Yeah, I don't want to give you these. No, it's okay. Are these expired? No, that's okay. Are you sure? You can just double check. Next year. I'll pick out how much is these three? $8.97. Okay. I literally spent £8.97 for a burger, chips, and mayo. What, 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 what's that? I'm sorry, that's a bit pricey, you know. This Lundis is an off license. See, it's an off license. I just want a burger bun. Boy, this shop stinks, blood. They have bread. You know what? This is considered a corner shop. They sell bear things. I came here for burger buns. Oh, they sell ice cream. They sell bread though. And they sell Afghan bread too. I just want, where's the burger buns? Oh yeah, here they are. One pound for feeling. They even sell veggies. This is like a little shop though. There's some ice creams and stuff. Should I could get up an ice cream? What's that? Bro, what is that? Some Malia coffee. Should I get one? Mm. Guys, look, they have to sell us out. No, I'm gonna get this because I wanna try it. Oh, they sell halal too. I want to try my coffee because I feel like it's going to melt. £1.60. Did I even check the ingredients? Double cream, milk powder, cardamom. I hope it tastes good because you know what? Sometimes when certain things just look a bit like, like they're not like, you know, haven't got branding and stuff, you know it might actually taste good um, because they put more effort in the food than they do the branding. But oh, it is melting fast, you know? Come on, come on. And they use like a kebab skewer, so then you know 110% they work. The smell of the cardamom, like I haven't even tried it, and the cardamom, bismillah. I'm having a ice cream kebab. <laughs> bismillah. Mm. That is good, man. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like double cream with cardamom. And what else, like, you know what's that, syrup? what's that thing called? Rose syrup. It literally, look, just look at the bite. So stuff. This is good. I highly recommend you guys try it. It's called Malia Kulfi. I just want to quickly <clears throat> give um, these taxis a go because they're kind of small and I can have them while I drive. I, you know what, yeah, when I first tried takis, they tasted like cardboard, like spicy cardboard. But over time, yeah, started to like them, you know. I can't eat them regularly because they're so salty. But it just gives you a kick. And we all need a kick. These are good, man. They are spicy, but I do recommend, I highly recommend you guys keep giving it a go. They're like tangy and like spicy. I want to make myself something to eat. So I want to make this like vegetable pizza, th this vegetable, ve the vegetarian. I thought that like she only makes vegan, but it's actually vegetarian because it has mozzarella inside. And then here's the chip. They've become a bit soft. And this is my smooth mayo. This is the mayo that they use in the chicken shop. So I'm going to keep this on the side. Here's my little cheap burger buns. Okay, we're gonna put one in here. Twisties too, bro. Guys, this burger is absolutely, it tastes like a rock. Maybe I should just fry it in it. This is a rock. I'm just going to eat my chips for now. The chips bang though. I'm thinking of making another burger. And seeing if I fry it. Would it make a difference?
I've created the burger again. I hope it tastes all right because if it doesn't taste all right, then it, I'm not the problem. No, nah, bruv. It is a bit softer. That's true. But it tastes really hard. It's hot. I had to get myself more chips because the other ones run out. Mm. This really, really upsets me because the thing is, yeah, because I had crisps and like the ice cream, I kind of had like the dinner a bit late. And I know that if I go out now, I won't find anything. So tonight is just going to be snacks. Hey, let's give this a go. The Momo. I'm going to finish the chips, but I can't eat the burger. I'm sorry. The burger is just terrible, man. It's so crunchy, it's hard. Smell now. Wow, the bits are kind of. This is absolutely like people talk about the light to one, like it's absolutely delicious, but it just it does it just tastes like rose perfume. Like imagine one day I'm eating onions. If I have garlic breath, stick a perfume down your throat. But I'm having these while I watch Top Boy. But I don't know why, but like when I saw these warhead bites, I'm not gonna lie to you. I really wanted to try them. I was like to myself, like they look really juicy, you know? They look juicy, like. Look at these little bites. Look how juicy these look. And they're like little cube shapes with two different flavors, this and that. That is nice. Quite big. And I got this here in case it wasn't juicy enough. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this inside. Close the ting up like that. So the juices are inside, you guys can see. Just give it a little bit of a shake. Shake your booty. Shake, shake your booty. Shake your booty. Shake, shake your booty. Yeah. Don't actually shake your booty. Don't. That sounds really inappropriate. Yeah. I'm currently watching Top Boy. So, close that up and put that on the side of the bed. These, yeah, these are the Bimto ones. I love these. But it's giving like it. Whoa! Has it has it gone smaller? It looks like it's gone smaller. Mm. This Vimto ripple is probably the most juiciest ripple you will ever taste. Mm mm. Mm mm. This is good. And it fits. I'm here. Let's close it up. This is like a little pocket. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next upload.